We're going to talk briefly about how to add photographs, images, or other electronic documentation for a web share. This can be done either in the 3D or in an individual scan. Uh, we're going to start with uh, doing it in 3D. First, let's look at the gouge marks in this crash. There's a good photograph of the gouge marks, so we want to add that as part of annotation link. In order to do that, we're going to click on annotation and then click down here near the gouges. Once we get that selected, we're going to click on general and we're going to name the impact under gouges. A couple of rules about naming items. No two items can be named the same. You can have no spaces in the names. Now I'll click apply so the box will stay open and the changes will remain. So here you can see impact gouges has been added. So let's click on documentation properties. Let's go to the browse button down here under hyperlinks and let's go to the location of where the photograph. Now I've already uh, copied the path from a previous Windows at File Explorer window. This path takes me directly there and I know that this particular image is what I want to use. So I'll click on this image and click open. Now we have to strip the path from the image leaving only the image name. Once I do that, I'll click Add, Apply, and OK. So you always want to make sure that you check the images that you're using is the right one. So this is the impact gouges, and that is the 1800.50 photograph. So I'm just going to double click on impact gouges under documentation and confirm 1800.50.jpg, and that is the right one. Let's add another documentation, and this time I'm going to add one for the interior of this Tahoe. I'll click Annotation, click on the passenger seat, and I'm going to type in Tahoe underscore passenger underscore interior. Click Apply. Now I'll go back to Documentation Properties. I'll click Browse, and it remembers the last path that I was uh, using, so I'll click on this next image. Open, strip the path, click Add, Apply, and OK. So let's do uh, another one. Uh, we'll do one of the uh, frontal damage of the pickup truck. So I'll click on annotation, click on the front of the pickup, and I'm gonna type in pickup underscore front, click apply. Now I'll go back to documentation properties. I'll click the browse button, and I'll click on the picture of the front of the pickup truck and click open. Then I'll strip out the path. I'll click add apply and okay. The last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a um, annotation for the top view diagram. So this is actually the line drawing from Ferrozone. So I'll click on browse, click on top view, click okay and strip the path. Now I'll click add, apply and okay. Now I'll save and I'll type in add annotations and image links. Okay. Now I'll go to export and I'll click Web Share Cloud, Export Web Share Project. I'll choose Apply Clipping Boxes and Export Grayscale Images and click Export. Scene will create a web share. It'll have to go through all seven of these scans. Okay, now that it's successfully created the data, go to the web share, or correction, go to the folder where the project exists. And I did that by going to project. I clicked on the path and I'm going to create a new folder within this called web share. Now you can create this folder anywhere. Now I'll go into web share. I'll select the address bar. I'll copy the path and I'm going to minimize. I'll go back to apps it's in the upper right corner. I'll click on web share to go transfer web share to go data. I'll click on the browse button and paste the path into the folder address and then I'll click OK. Click transfer data. Data transfer won't take too long. Now that that transfer is complete, I'll go to my pictures. I copied the pictures I was going to use into a temporary folder so I could copy these into another inside the web share. Now the web share folder that I created a moment ago is now populated with the transferred web share data. I now need to double click on web, double click on WS2Go data, and create a folder called documents. Once I get documents created, I'll double click on that and paste the pictures. Now when I go back to web share and click start web share to go and 
click on my web share project. If I click on one of the scans, and I'll turn around and we'll click on Final Rest V1 and V2 to look at the properties. I'll click the tab and click back. Any one of these scans, I should be able to see any of this information or these annotations that I created. Pretty much anything that's electronic, PDF, PNGs, JPEGs, movies, anything at all, you can add as a annotation.